We've landed in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Next stop is the Children's Hospital. First, we gotta, we gotta roll deep. Project, we're bringing Wyatt's ideas of saving the world with the Ninja Turtles to real life. So um, right now, uh, the students have been working on some of the props, um, but because it is a crazy time crunch out in Minnesota, we just we don't have that much time. So we're trying to work together as a team to make some stuff happen and work on some of these props. So um, my sister is like amazing at at making paper mache and, and and different props and she learned that from my mom that was something that my mom always used to love to do and and to create um, so jen kind of got those skills of passed down so uh, right now she's actually being a huge help in colorado and she's building massive ninja turtle helmets um and masks so that way we can have that kind of epicness uh, at the school um, but now i'm gonna try to do my best so she's working on four ninja turtle helmets uh, with only a couple days and so my goal is to uh, make shredder you know he's, he's the bad guy i'm gonna try to make his helmet but um <laughs> so so we have some some chicken wire some some masking tape and a watermelon uh so we'll see how, we'll see how this goes it's not looking it's not looking like the worst <laughs> Okay, we're hey, hey. here. It's Stillwater High School. They're crushing it right now. We got our Ninja Turtles. We got Shredder. We got our squad. It's looking good. We're starting. Wyatt and the Lamborghini are coming soon. So next shot is going to be that. an act probably his dream since he's been little to battle ninjas and I could just see by his stance and his energy like this is a, totally a dream come true. Foot soldiers vlog today uh, uh, we're gonna be fighting the ninja turtles. <laughs> What's up guys we're gonna be fighting the ninja turtles again even though we always lose we're gonna keep trying. <laughs> One, 
Ninjas. Turtles. Nice. Good one. Good. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty. Um, it feels very empowering. You know, you just feel like the like the martial arts flowing through you. Ah, uh, yes, of course. And then you get beat by a six-year-old. Yep. <laughs> Being a Ninja Turtle, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. All right, what's, what's the hardest challenge of being Shredder? You know, uh, my head's a little big for the helmet. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, today was amazing. We had so much fun watching all of these kids working together to make Wyatt just have literally the best day of his life. He at one point ran up to his mom. It was right in the middle of doing some taping and, and he ran up to his mom, Whitney, and just jumped into her arms and said, this is the best day ever. Everybody left here today with full hearts and with smiles on their faces and all these kids dressing up and really putting themselves out there in ways that they probably haven't before, like doing that and the choir singing. They did this beautiful rendition of Wyatt's song. I'm Wyatt. fun to have like I said to see all these kids here for Wyatt and I think like I said I think we were the lucky ones to be able to have him work with us today. Thank you, Good work. I think watching Wyatt sprint from the school to the Lamborghini with the entire school following him and cheering him on was a moment where everyone couldn't help but feel like the love in the room and that was just that was awesome. Stillwater High School, that was one for the books, for sure. Everyone did amazing, the Ninja Turtles and Wyatt Shredder, everyone just played their parts perfectly. Then all the ninjas running around, everyone's working up a sweat. I cannot thank you all enough for, for your commitment and for, for making such a truly memorable experience for everyone involved. It's awesome having Wyatt and his family and Laura Sobiak here and, and everyone just being a part of something really, really special to show Wyatt how many people are rooting for him. And the Lamborghini that came, I mean, what the, come on, that does not happen every day. So thank you so much to the faculty and the staff, Debbie in particular, you rocked it. Thank you so much for all your hard work and for making this happen. See you on the next Bridging Rooms Project. This incredible experience was made possible by Children's Cancer Research Fund, an organization that believes a world without childhood cancer is possible. So what our area high school was just amazing in supporting our family, supporting Zach. Um, he sang on stage for the first time here. And we were just, so this is where it all kind of started. May is sort of Zach's month. Um, his birthday is on May 3rd, and the day he passed away is May 20th, which is just two days away from today. So it's kind of, it feels like his presence was here.